We are in an apartment complex today. So we bid this project about three years ago. We didn't win the bid. Another radar mitigation company got the bid. They came in, they installed two mitigation systems here and uh, the property has been sold. It's been refinanced and a radon test was performed and it failed. So we came out, we diagnosed what's uh, going on and why it's not working. Uh, we're about to tear out those systems. We're gonna completely rebuild them. Um, we're gonna get pressure differential on the sub slab and we're gonna lower the radon. Let me show you how it's done. So this is the radon mitigation system that was installed. It is a MG Festa Eagle fan uh, mounted onto some three inch pipe that comes up. It hits some sewer pipe right there. So some schedule 20 sewer, and then it goes into gutter. And if we trace this, um, the gutter right there does not bend above the roof. So it's like maybe a couple inches below the roof. It needs to be at least six inches above. And then when we come over to look at the fan, where are the system indicators at? There are zero system indicators here. There's no system label. We have zero idea which contractor put this in. We have no idea who did it. We have no idea what the startup parameters were whenever they installed the system. Um, it is on a on an exterior switch. That's a good, that's a positive. Um, but there's no way to monitor the system. Um, no system indicators, uh, no pressure gauge, no audible alarm. There's zero way to tell if this system is functioning. Mine is just standing here and listening uh, for the fan running. Oh, it's juicy. Oh my goodness. It's like a juicy squirrel inside the fan. Oh, that is so nasty. Oh my gosh. Here, come, take a look at this. Dude, that is nasty. Why is the fan not working? Because it's got a squirrel in it. Dad Gumbit Peanut. So the minimum requirement on a suction pit is two gallons of media to be removed from the from the suction pit. There's like no, there's no suction pit here. So part of the reason this doesn't work is there's no suction pit. Now, granted, there's gravel, so air does move through it, but this would operate a lot better if there was a suction pit. So uh, we're gonna clean that out. We're gonna create a suction pit, and then we're gonna put it together. We've dug out about three gallons. We've got a pit here now. We're gonna start putting it back together. All right, so this is the new system. So we put in a variable speed RN4 fan. Um, that way we could dial the fan back. So uh, originally they had an Eagle Extreme uh, AMG Festa fan on here um, with porous gravel, pretty leaky system. And so the, the fan was delivering like no sub slab differential pressure. So um, we've put on RN4. We increased the downspout, the, the three by two downspout that was here at a four inch uh, schedule 40 PVC vent pipe. And um, that's given us greater airflow capacity. Uh, and then we've turned the fan down. So we didn't need a full blast. So we dialed this back uh, to about 50%. Um, and then we labeled everything. So we put on all of our system indicators uh, so that everything is uh, the way it's supposed to be. So we are on the backside uh, looking at the second system. This is building 10. See the fan here, the fan is really struggling. You can hear it is not like that. Um, it might have juicy squirrel in it as well. I have no idea. Um, but when we trace this, we can see the downspout goes up above the roof here. And again, we're vented below the roof. Um, we always want to vent at least six inches above that drip line. That's per the code. Um, again, no label. There's no system indicators. There's no uh, label on who put the system in. There's no way to tell uh, is the system functioning correctly minus just hearing the fan motor whine like it is right now. Something strange to note here, this, this pipe comes in at an angle and then they have taken and kicked it off back and, and then gone back again. So. Uh, you got a lot of weird twists and turns here. There's a closet, a uh, 90 there that adds a lot of resistance. It's a really sharp angle to move air through, especially if it's porous under here like the other apartment. Um, and it's it's got a lot of airflow. All right, so the company that put this in, they missed the rock layer. Um, so the pipe was dead headed right into the clay. And then uh, the rock layer is right above it, like two inches above it is the rock layer. So we're gonna dig out this pit um, we're gonna free up that rock layer and we're gonna rock and roll here. So this is the system on the backside. So we've cleaned everything up. 
Um, again, we replaced all the piping down here. Uh, they have three inch pipe that went in at a weird angle. And because of that, they put in a closet 90 and then they also put in some 22s. And there is a lot of airflow in the system. Um, it's pretty leaky. Unfortunately, we can't access the tub shower. Uh, it's inaccessible, we can't get to it um, where the cutout would be. Um, so it's a pretty leaky system. Um, so we need that four inch diameter pipe. We, we oversized the hole down here to four inches from three to four. Um, we replaced all the two by three gutter with four inch diameter pipe. And so we're moving a lot more air now. Um, this is a lot more efficient um, and we're getting uh, now a pressure differential across the slab. So originally we had like maybe a Pascal, um, you know, 0.8 Pascals of suction across the slab. Um, and we've brought that up to 6.8 now. So um, all in all, uh, she's good to go. I think it's gonna move some air. I think we're gonna get the radon down in this apartment. Thank you.